try to bend his arm and go, so as soon as I feel that arm bend, I tape. Yes? Now again with this, this is the hips, it's not the arm. This, and I start to bring my hips out. This goes on really, really fast. Yeah, yeah, so it's not Steve as a guy, right? <laughs> yeah. Even slow it down, we don't slow it down. He's nice and tall, so when I break this, I sort of pull his shoulder to me. Yeah. And then I just I keep my base low. There's a lot of different things we do. For him there, I would do that throw. Because he's sitting in that position, I might go under here. Yeah. He's giving me that, he's like he was leaning forward. So that's when you go, do I sit him back? Yeah, it's back and forward, yeah. Again, we have the grips. What I want to do is break the grip. So me doing that is easy just to take, and I want to push across the table. So I take a push. So I can get into this position. So I still have that. Alright? From here I want to step through as I go down. I extend and I've got the back. Try to get this on. Yeah. Then I'll get it. Yeah. I'm not going to do the, the full thing, but you see how you can play with it and sort of keep driving, driving, dragging. Yeah? And you want to try and wonder what you're doing, and then bam, then you can get your, your tip. The drill is passing guard, half guard. So what we're doing is we're watching the guys, how they pass on top, and then we're going to work on them drills then. So a lot of people struggling to control the top position, passing properly. They're worrying about the leg instead of controlling the upper body and the hips and stuff. So. I'm going to have a look at that and then walk in them positions. Yeah, good, yeah. Kim Martin, black belt, three years. <laughs> Didn't go for brown? Yeah. No, black. just straight to black. Yeah. Purple to black. Oh, is a fake. So remember, if he knees like this, there's no need to say it, is it? He's done all the work for me. You know, if some of them listen to me, look, this is what I do here. If they put a knee like this, I dummy my neck. In second degree to this, Go under, and I should draw. Oh, you can see that? I put that shoulder back and put his knees in. So a knee shield is all about pushing me away, making space. So I gotta kill that. So if his hands are back there, I just smash it to the ground. It's a few you wanna do, you can stay here, and, you know, pass the guard, whatever you want to do. If we're a minute bit closer, I can kill this. I only like taking the sleeve, taking the collar. I push and I bring it in. And this elbow here is blocking his knee. And I'm low here, look. You now I smash him in the face. We're we'll practice. We know he's put it up here. Look, watch, watch him do. As I go here, my left knee comes in and blocks the hip. And this foot is up here like this. I don't have to make him, I don't have to make him uncomfortable here. I just know that I'm not letting him shrimp into me. 
the shoulders here, and I'm happy here. Right, so I'm going to do, add a little thing on here now. So do this a party later on. This is a good position for me. Now I'm going to let him think he's plenty of room. All I do is hold his belt or hold his bottoms, and I just, when my back foot, I take the space away, and I give him all this space. space. 99% of the time they're going to turn into me. Perfect, he gives me the pass. So from here, gone, 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 gone. Sit, pull, kick. Straight in, come on. Knife fishing. Huh? Knife fishing. Knife fishing. Uh -huh. yeah. Get in there. Oh. oh. Hey, hey, hey. The next board, the next board. Who's your show sponsor? Um, pre work. Pammy. Hashtag ad. The next board, the next board. I'm the next board, you know what? Fuck Daniel Craig. You see me coming out of the water? I enjoyed. Um, uh, getting out of the half yard, the techniques out of the half yard, I thought that was very interesting. I really enjoyed that part, most of all. Peter Sessi was very good as well. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. You learn something new, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, exactly. You learn where the aches and pains are, because you've never had before. <laughs> it does help. And the sea. The sea helps. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Learn lots. Yeah. Lots. Take some stuff back home with me. It's not just about jiu-jitsu, is it? No. It's about uh, team bonding and having a crack with the lads and getting to know your other clubs from the north and stuff around the country. It's great. Yeah. It's what, great. Was, what was your favorite technique? Favorite technique? Uh, I kind of like passing the half guard. I find that struggling a bit, so it helped me a lot. That was stuff Andy was doing yesterday? Yeah, that was Andy was doing yesterday. And Pete Levy and Patrick. Yeah, very good. For me, when I, when I have to teach in front of Andy and Paddy and that sort of idea, teach in front of your, the guys who teach you, it's very nerve wracking. You have a class of uh, sort of white belts right through purple, brown, blues, up to the boss and, and, and Paddy. And you have to try to make it interesting to start off with. Uh, and you're actually calling into question your technique. You know, am I doing this right? Is uh, my position right? Are my grips right? Especially when I'm doing throws, and Andy being a high-level judo guy, we sort of make sure this is right, no, it has to be right. So it was nerve-wracking, but after a while, I sort of got into it, and I sort of blanked it out. I just sort of went with 
the way I would normally teach a class. And hopefully everyone seems to really enjoy it, you know, including yourself. <laughs> Did you enjoy the trip? Excellent. I, uh, my first time over, can't recommend the place enough. You know, luckily we got the weather, we got the weather that was great. That. Sort of coming out of the, the gym and you're in buckets of sweat, and you can, the first thing you do, hit the beach, jump into the sea, feel like a million dollars, and then you come back out again, you know. Uh, there's a reset. Yeah. Ready for the next one to get do it all over again, but no, fantastic trip. Can't recommend the place enough. I'll be on to my guys when I get back. Uh, the guys in the north, the guys in Belfast, recommend it. Right next time, bring an army over. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Oh, great. Best one. Best one so far. Uh, two weeks to go. Two weeks to go. Back over here and going on to rip the next time I come over. Looking forward to the fleet. Can't wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just pass the week. You know, fight every other day of the week. Like, you know what I mean? If you're not broke up in that foot, uh, can't wait, yeah? Fighting out in front of 10,000 mad Polish in the middle of Dublin. <laughs> Selling even Herald supplements. <laughs> ah, you're really great. Enjoy the week. Great, great bit of buzz, you know, the sun takes my mind off things over here and that, uh, like, like that, the cup and stuff like that. Otherwise, you're sitting at home, miserable, pissing around, you know, can't eat, you don't train, you're freezing. You know, it just takes my mind right off, out to sea every day, and night, you train every morning. Uh, weights been flying off me over here, so yeah, go back. Yeah, go back now on Monday. I think this is the latest I've ever gone into uh, a weight cup, so uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Can't wait. Yeah. Third tour. Spot on. Best tour yet. Third tour. Best, best tour yet. yet. Well, I've only two tours down. Hard training, hard definitely, drinking. Definitely. <laughs> hard pissing. No, no, I'm, I I, missed the rainy one. Right. I did well. No, it did. I. Super. Super set up, Colin. Much love. You and Candy. This time it was cola bottles. Just like the Cubs and the Scouts. That was great. Enjoy it. Company was shit. That's all right, Tom. Yeah, and that was great. Best one so far. Is that the third one or the fourth one? That was the fourth one. The fourth one, Patrick's fourth. Yeah. Patrick's fourth? Four. You've been here four times? Yeah. I remember you. Yeah. You're, a, you're, a, you're a grown ass man now. 25 now. He matured well, didn't he? Took a fine wine, couple of my years doing the all right. It's Thank more like uh, Chateau de Shite at the moment, and it's going to grow into that uh, champagne. Is that right, Pat? He did it, as they call it. How's that Monday? How's that Monday? How's he swimming on Monday, right? He won't even swim in the summer and then leave. 15. 15. How long are you training? Doing Kaizen since I was 6. That's like a karate, is it? Yeah. It's, it's like stand-up jiu-jitsu. Right. It's like more clinch and stuff. Right. Yeah. It's good. How long are you doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu? About a year. How do you like it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Who's in charge of you? Robert. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and that's about that in the north? Yeah. Belfast. Belfast. How often are you trying to? What? How often are you trying to? Once a week. It's right. arms now. Right. But I'd like to do more. Yeah. Brilliant. Definitely go again. Have you been here before? No, Four first time. time. Yeah. What, was your, what was your favourite technique for the week? That, uh, when you work your foot up from the half guard. That's nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Who was that one? Uh, Pete, I think, wasn't it? Andy. Andy, Andy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy's yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Are you going to compete soon or what you can do? I'd like to do more competitions coming up. Yeah. I'd love to do them. Yeah. But just with the exams every day. Yeah. Scoot it first. That's it. Then you need to second, right? Yeah. Yeah.